Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. As promised, I am going to be showing you guys all of my Christmas decor. I've gotten a lot of newer pieces this year and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I've come up with, especially in this hallway behind me with that garland and stuff. I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, I did try to keep it a little bit on the simpler side this year and really only like change up a few things. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it because it's the most wonderful time of the year and I can't sing clearly. So let's go look at my Christmas decorations. Okay, we are gonna start in the main entryway because it is probably my favorite area of the entire house. Right when you walk in the front door, I have this merry and bright sign. I picked that up from Aldi last year. Um, the only, we're not gonna go outside yet. I might show you guys that in a future video. The only thing out there right now is a wreath and a doormat. I need to get like the front yard decorated. I think I showed you guys this last year. I bought this from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. It's this really cute, like metal letters to Santa box. Both kids, like older kids that can write, have already put letters to Santa in there and Santa has come in the middle of the night and taken them. So that's what you see right by the front door. And then turning around this way so that we're standing in the entryway, this is our stair. So I showed you guys this garland and bow in my Walmart haul last week. I just think that this garland is absolutely gorgeous with the pine cones and the holly berries and the sort of dusting of the snow over it. This was $13 at Walmart and you really can't beat it. And then I just paired it with this little red bow and I think it really transforms the look of our stairway. And then moving along to our front entryway table, these are all new pieces that we purchased this year. Um, I got both of the trees at Hobby Lobby. They're completely wooden. I think that there is a metal form yeah, there is a metal form on the inside, but otherwise they're, they're wooden with the snow dusting again and the pine cones. These were like $20 a piece at Hobby Lobby and I purchased two of them to go on either side of this picture. So it says it's the most wonderful time of the year with the little Christmas tree garland. And this one was only $15 at Hobby Lobby. So this was my bigger, redo and purchase along with the garland this year and I absolutely love how it turned out and then just on the bottom there we have our um, Christmas village these were actually a gift from my mom they used to be around the Christmas tree when I was a kid and I think that they just pair perfectly on the bottom there with that other stuff so that is our entryway and again I'm obsessed with how it turned out. And here's one more view of the entryway from sort of standing in the kitchen. I just feel like it looks so like holiday-ish and welcoming when guests come in the front door. And then just on the corner here, you guys know that we have this home sign Mickey where you can change the Mickeys out and we just put the Christmas one on there. So that is all the Christmas decor in our entryway. Moving along to the dining area, um, on this little table here, this was the other main purchase for this year. So this little, I guess it's a snow globe, but it's like automatic. If you turn it on, you don't have to keep shaking it. Um, this one is Santa riding on his sleigh with his reindeer over a little village with a church and some houses and it is gorgeous. Like it's dark outside, like in the evenings, this just lights up the whole room. This one was pricier. I believe this was $40 at Hobby Lobby. Um, so again, I tried to just pick a few pieces that I really was going to enjoy this year. And then I paired it with my two glittery reindeer. I believe those are from Target a couple of years ago. And my all is calm, all is bright sign 
that I picked up at Hobby Lobby maybe two years ago. And it's just a nice simple thing for this little side table here. And then over to the left, we do have this shelving here. All of this stuff is reused from last year. The Merry Christmas thing my sister made. This little TV guy was from a couple of years ago at Hobby Lobby. Look how cute that is. The train goes around. Again at night, this just lights up the room. And then we just have a few other little things here on this shelf. So what I did with these two shelves this year, because we have the ones here and then the ones that we'll get to over there, is I decided to make one completely red and like traditional Christmas. And then the other one is more wintry stuff as you'll see in a minute. But first we just have some lights. I bought these at um, Costco. I think I showed them to you guys a few trips ago and they just cycle through like different twinkling settings and stuff. Again, in the evening, these with these two things is just gorgeous to look at over here. Now our table, I'm still struggling with a little bit. I do have um, our runner on here, which I picked this up at Hobby Lobby a few, uh, probably two years ago. But in the center, I don't have a whole lot yet. Obviously, I still have some like fall napkins. This snow globe was a gift um, from my husband's grandmother. It's actually quite old. You see the clumping in there, but she gifted that to us. And then I just have my snowmen couple salt and pepper shakers. So that is the view of the kitchen. And then down into the hallway from this side. And then here is the other set of shelves. So this church and this house I picked up at Hobby Lobby um, or maybe Target last year. And they do light up. There's the one lit up and then we'll go ahead and light up the other one. Um, I go around after dinner every night turning everything on and my husband just loves it. So I have the house and the ch um, church there and then a Noel, like it's glass, but it's made to look like wood. And then my big glitter reindeer, which I purchased, I think last year from Hobby Lobby. So this is what the entire kitchen like dining area looks like. I do want something else for in the center, but this is what we have going right now. And then you guys know that our dining room sort of feeds into our kitchen. I don't have a whole lot over here, but I'll show you what I do have. So this reindeer we actually picked up um, a few years ago at the Southern Christmas show here in North Carolina. And it's my favorite winter piece. Like it's like, I love it so much. So I put that on the bar or the island here with a winter candle from Aldi, which smells absolutely divine. And then I just threw a few um, Christmas balls, ornaments in it to make it a little bit more festive. So that is what is on the island itself. And then the only other thing that we have in the kitchen is over here, excuse my crock pot, we got some barbecue chicken going for dinner tonight, but over here, we just have our Merry Christmas countdown. Um, this is actually wrong. I think it's 23 days now. So we'll just fix that. And then back here, this is a Ray Dunn Christmas um, canister. There's nothing in it. I just kind of like the sound, the how it looks there next to our Simply Safe Home Alarm. So that is everything that we have in the kitchen. Let's go ahead and move on to the living room. And that will be the final area. Okay, we're gonna start over here by the TV. Also, just a warning, both dogs are in here fighting and Finley's in here, so this is real life. Sorry if you know you hear dogs barking right now, but on the TV stand, you know, mantle, whatever, we just have three stockings for each kid. Usually that goes snowman, Santa snowman, but they get knocked down literally 15 times a day from the dogs. So, oh look, I just noticed there's a pumpkin down there still, so I'll have to move that. But we have them up here. And then on the actual TV, we just have our garland that I wrapped with some lights. And then I put these little picks of holly berries in. These I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year. There's a ton of them in our tree as well. And so I just have them scattered throughout the garland here to make it match 
the um the tree a little bit better so this area flows right into our christmas tree now our christmas tree i let the kids decorate so um you know it's not perfect it's not like a themed perfect christmas tree i let them just kind of go at it this is their childhood i feel like and so therefore it's their time to really i don't know bask in the magic of Christmas. And so I just believe in letting them decorate the Christmas tree. The only ornaments that we added this year are these ones, um, which just say all of our names on them. Um, but everything else, and this one is turned around, everything else is from last year. So we just have our Christmas tree topper up there. I don't know if I showed you guys this last year or not, um, you guys know, or if you've been following me, you know that my dad passed away. My sister actually took a card that had his handwriting on it last year. And I don't know, somehow made ornaments out of his handwriting for all of us for Christmas last year. So that is like my favorite ornament. And it's just front and center right under the Christmas thing. Cause I didn't have anything with his handwriting on it. So that is our Christmas tree. And then we just have our snowflake Christmas tree skirt under there. And then moving over here where like all the people are, we just have, oh, can I have this toy? I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> we just have this um, little reindeer pillow that I picked up at, I think Sam's Club last year. Um, and then our snowflake blanket, those kind of stay in this area of the couch. And then like our other blankets get thrown everywhere else. And then this is another special piece to me. This actually came from, here you go, you can have it. This actually came from my mom a few years ago, um, but this piece was always around when I was a kid, the little Santa painting. So I really cherish that she trusted me to have this. Um, I think that it came from her grandparents and yeah, it's just really special part of the family. So I'm glad to have that. So he just sits on the end table right there and there's Finley singing and yeah that is our living room oh and I did forget to mention this Santa up here was a puzzle that we actually did with my grandparents when I was a kid and again my mother gifted it to me so this is what the living room looks like when you are stepped outside of it I love the way this area looks here and of course with Santa over there in the corner, my dog's fighting like they always do. So I hope that you enjoyed this little holiday tour of my home. Um, I'm so glad to share it with you guys. The next video that I post is actually going to be my one year anniversary on YouTube video. And it's going to be a remake of the same video that I posted first. So yeah, be on the lookout for that on Monday. So Monday's video won't be a grocery haul like normal. It'll be this video instead. And then you'll get the grocery haul later in the week. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are having a fantastic holiday season so far with your families. And I'll see you soon. Bye guys.